بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد. So uh, again we see the um, misunderstanding, to say the least, of the Salafiya uh, with regards to the Tawassul. Um, and, and again, though, from a different uh, perspective now, you're saying that it's not even haram, you're saying that it's shirk, which goes against uh, ijma' like you, you're just, you know, if you, if you would at least said it's haram, <clears throat> we can at least maybe work with that. But you're saying it's shirk, which no one ever said except for Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah ta'ala. And he passed away 728 Hijriyyah, right? So y'all make him the Salaf. He's the representation of the Salaf by himself, which is not right and it's not fair. And he goes against the Hanbalis, the Hanabila. He goes against his grandfather, Majd al-Din, Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah ta'ala. And uh, Imam Ibn Qudam al-Muwaffaq. Uh, and, and others, uh, and Ibn Rajab and so on. So it's not fair that you make this one man, right, that came up with the three Tawheed, which no one said uh, before him, right? And he's coming with all of these uh, irregular opinions, like visiting uh, the Prophet Ali as haram, intending his grave, and the Tawassul al Shirk, and Tabarruk, and things like that. Right, he's going against uh, Imam Ahmad, he's going against the Hanabila, he's going against the four schools of fiqh and the three schools of aqidah, he's going against Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. <clears throat> and you have taken him as the main representative of uh, what y'all call uh, Ahl Sunnah, um, and uh, you hijacked uh, our names, Sunni, Athari, Ahl al Hadith, which y'all definitely aren't, right? Because everyone that you follow, is going to be a true Hanbali or Ash'ari or Sufi or uh, and so on. So um, uh, these things need to stop, right? Study, understand what you're saying, and go to the Siyar Alam and Nubala and Nubala of uh, Imam al Dhahabi, the Siyar Alam uh, and Nubala of Imam al Dhahabi that um, uh, mentions biographies and it, and it has these people, uh, these great scholars doing uh, Tabarruk and Tawassul. Uh, and you can find it in many other books, but I know that's a book that you rely on. Um, so it's not, uh, you know, something that is new. It existed from the time of the Salaf, from the time of the Sahaba, up until our time, right? And, and, and you acknowledge that it existed and was okay during the time of the Prophet, والسلام, but after his death, والسلام, for example, it's not permissible. Um, and this, of course, is kufur in that. You believe uh, indirectly, at least, that the Prophet Ali Sallallahu somehow lost status when he passed away, Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam doesn't only increases in status, doesn't stay the same, and definitely, Allah Billah, uh, becomes worse. Um, so you need to rectify your aqidah, right? Because you are on, on innovation, uh, and you are on. Uh, I mean, the least that can be said is major sin especially how you make takfir of the ummah for things that is, are actually allowed by ijma' So fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stop with these assumptions. You are already a, a, a minority that came about 250 years ago um, and you keep splitting up into branches anyway and you are uh, dying out anyway. So come back to the way of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the true Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and stop with this uh, nonsense and garbage and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.